Hi guys, today we are gonna learn how to make paw print cookies. But first, we need to wash our hands. Make sure you get right in between those fingers, get those wrists. We wanna make sure that we are clean as can be to make these awesome cookies because we are gonna be using our hands. First step to making these cookies is you want to get all your ingredients out. So here we have all of ours and you can see the ingredients on the back of any cookie bag that you get right here. We picked sugar cookies today but you can pick any kind you want. First you want to preheat your oven. Our package says 375 so that's what we're going to do. And then it also asks us to soften our butter. So on our microwave it has a setting but if not you can just put it in for 20 seconds and watch it. Then you're going to follow the directions on the back of your cookie packet and you can either make your own homemade cookies but we decided to use a cookie packet. Then you're just going to follow the directions and make those cookies up. Make sure when you're handling eggs to wipe your hands and you don't want to eat anything with raw egg because it does contain what is called salmonella and that can make you really, really, really sick. As you can see, our butter got a little melted. Um, that's okay, but you want it to be soft if that's what the directions say. So you can either mix all that stuff together or what we like to do, me and my sister Chloe, we like to just mix it with our hands. We think it makes a better consistency because you want the dough to be nice and you want all the flour to get in there and you don't want any crumbs or anything. You want a nice consistency so you can form it into great balls, just like that. So now what we're going to do is we're going to make our paw print cookies. So what you're going to do is you're going to get a round ball of cookie. You don't want it to be too big because you want it to bake all the way through. And you can smoosh it like I did. And then you'll get a couple small balls and put it on like paw prints. Don't get discouraged if your cookie doesn't really look like a paw print right when you make it out of the dough because it is going to expand in the oven when you cook it. So as you can see, mine doesn't really look that much like a paw print, but it will once we get it out of the oven. And you can make your paw prints any kind of style you want. I chose to make mine round, but as we know, our lovely animals have all different types of paw prints, so you can make them any kind of style that you want. You can also slap your cookie dough on the cookie sheet uh, like Chloe did. It's kind of more fun that way, but you can also make it easy like I did. As I, and as you can see, Chloe's making kind of long paw prints, kind of like claws, rather than just sticking to the round style. Once you have all your cookies made, you're gonna to wanna to put it right in the oven. And as you can see, you can make different cool shapes too. Chloe spelled her name. And then you're just gonna time it for however long the package chose you to. Our package said nine minutes. So after those nine minutes, you wanna check your cookies. These look pretty good. So if they are a little brown on the outside, if you like yours that way, you can take them out. If you want them softer, you can take them out a little early. So now we're gonna do our icing. So what we got is we got vanilla icing, and you wanna have a knife, and you want a little spoon, and we also got some writing gel. We picked black, um, but you can pick any kind you want. You can even make your own gel out of icing. You don't actually have to get gel if you don't want to. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna scoop up some of that icing, and if you want your icing to be a different color, you can put food dye in it. A couple drops will do, and you can mix it to your discretion, but we picked white. So you're just gonna push that on there with a the spoon and then kind of just fill in all of the space there. Leave a little room on the edges. You don't want to get too messy. 
And we, in my house, we like the Betty Crocker icing, but you can pick any kind of icing that you'd like. You can even make your own. As you can see, I'm not perfect. I dropped that cookie, but that's okay. It's still gonna be yummy. So after you're done putting on the base layer of icing, what you wanna do is take your writing gel or your colored icing and make your little paw print outline. So as you can see, my paw print before, when I made it before I went in the oven, it didn't really look like much. But now that we have the icing on there and I'm drawing on the little paw, it looks adorable and it's gonna be super yummy. And you can personalize these too if you wanna put your name in the paw print or you wanna draw a picture and you can make them super cute. But we decided to just do a simple little paw print. So this is our final product. Looks pretty good. As you can see, there's different shapes and sizes. And then finally, eat it and share with a friend.